got off that big ferry and now we're in Bohol. It's lovely, straight away. It's like blue waters and I don't know, it's just very islandy. It is. So we've got an action packed itinerary. So we've made it to the Tarsia Conservation Sanctuary. Hello and welcome from the Chocolate Hills in Bohol in the Philippines. Right, now going back now. Oh my God. But first we need to get to our hotel. The journey to our hotel was amazing. We got our first experience of a tuk-tuk ride in the Philippines and got a taste of what the scenery was going to be like on this beautiful island. Once we arrived, it was time to get some food. We found a small local cafe nearby and enjoyed our first meal in Bolhol. It was then time to go back to our hotel to give you a quick tour. This is where we're staying, it's called Eco Hotel. £24 a night. We've got a little Lauren in bed. Yeah, yeah, I don't come in the room. <laughs> got a nice view. So yeah, so that's that. And then finally, there's the bathroom, which is actually pretty nice other than the drains smell a bit, but can't argue too much with this one. And we got a hand towel and a bath mat. We've noticed since being out here that they don't seem to give you bath mats or hand towels, do they, Lauren? They just give you two big towels and it's like, use them while you please. But we've managed to hire a car for tomorrow, hopefully. We're really excited about our day tomorrow because first we're seeing the Tasias, which are really, really delicate animals. And if you make any noise, then they actually start to become suicidal, which is a bit sad, isn't it? So we need to be really, really quiet. So we're going there first thing in the morning. We're literally getting up at 6 a.m. Can you believe that? We're gonna pick the car up tonight so it's ready and waiting for us to get to them Tasias for eight o'clock in the morning, bright and early. Good morning. So this is our car for the day. Cool whip, bro. This is going to be interesting, hiring a car for the day in the Philippines. I've driven on right hand side of the road before in Europe, but I've never been like sat on this side. So it's just going to be taking some getting used to with the gear stick this side. But hopefully we'll be okay. Or well, we have to be. It's just everything's really spread out in Boho. And we basically want to do all this bit first because... Like this is an hour's drive an hour's drive yesterday it cost us 21 quid yeah and it's cost us 25 quid to hire this for the four days so, so it's an over right right let's go oh. oh take a bit of getting used to got <laughs> a good acceleration hey yeah, that's fantastic news feels like you know when you first start driving yeah like <laughs> sorry is that not <laughs> what you want to hear. Not really, no. Oh gosh, this looks like a busy road. Just go straight up and we'll be. Ah! Careful! Tuk tuk. <laughs> that was such a cute little beep. <laughs> well, there was no one there. I felt like I needed to be, but there was no one about. So I'm sort of getting the hang of it, I think. The roads are quiet, but yeah. we're going to take a bite. But it's these big tricycle things that are a bit more... Tricycle! <laughs> I don't know what they go. I don't know. I'm going for it. Oh! But he is doing really well. And all this because, literally, I said, let's come to Ball Hall so we can see these Tarsias. <laughs> Tarsias. Are they Tarsias or Tarsias? I, I think yeah. they're Tarsias. Yeah. Landslide risk. Really? Yeah. That's good. Brilliant. Another thing to worry about. Oh, chicken. So, as we were driving towards the Tarsia Sanctuary, we accidentally drove through one of the main tourist attractions, which is a man made forest. These trees were planted 50 years ago as part of a reforestation project, and it's actually pretty nice. So, we've made it to the Tarsia Conservation Sanctuary. Well done, Tom, for driving. Yeah, not too bad in the end, although we're going even further away. We're going to them Chalky Hills in mm. a bit. So it's going to be a long drive back, but we'll be fine. There's just so many more dangers on the road. Like, you think people are a danger, but then there's tuk-tuks and cows and landslides and chickens and dogs and cats. Isn't there? <laughs> there's a lot to look out for. You've got to be very aware. Yeah. yeah we're all good. Let's enjoy this Tarsia conservation area. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank, thank you. you. Follow the trail right side, guides are upstairs. Oh, thank you. So, I think we're literally the first ones in here. We have to be quiet now. I forgot. Master Yoda of Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> they look like. Maybe they copy it from the tertiary. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, because they meet seasonally every two years. Oh, okay. And they can produce one baby. Oh, oh. that's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's get a Back into our whip, the Nissan Almira. I'll drive. <laughs> Can you pop open the trunk for me? <laughs> we American. Look at that. It's got all gadgets. And I'm gonna wear a diet coat. Do you want anything? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how small. Don't spoil though. yourself. Go on, show it to the camera. They can't see how tall. Well, compare it to my head, which is bigger than a normal head, but <laughs> it's it's huge. No. It's tiny. My head's huge. Yeah. <laughs> the bottle's tiny. Right. Let's let's go. It was now time to make our way to the chocolate hills. Mom, we sit now. We have Thank to you. the back. So that was 100 each, which is about £2.30 in total. And now we get a free shuttle. Is this it? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. It does look a bit chocolatey in that one. Hello and welcome from the Chocolate Hills in Bohol in the Philippines. So, legend has it that these hills were formed by giants throwing moulds of earth at each other. But actually, what I think it is, is because in the dry season, all the hills go brown because they're all dried out, looking like big moulds of chocolate. Well, how did the hills get here, you might ask? Well basically, where we're standing now used to be underwater and millions and millions of years ago with all the coral and erosion and the sea, these hills were formed and then the sea pushed the sea away and then the earth came up and then there's a load of hills. <laughs> so basically all this used to be underwater. Yeah. So basically, 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 like, basically, you know when you see a big hill at home and you think, crikey, that's a big hill. Well, imagine that, but steeper and loads of them and you've, you've got a chocolate hill. We're now making our way up the chocolate hill and there's a big viewing deck, but there's probably about 100 steps to get up to. But then, Lauren says there's more than that, but there's not many and they're not that steep and you are going to get a good view at the top. Who's been having a wee up here then? Once at the top, you do get a really nice view. However, it is really busy and touristy. So getting there early is our advice. But that's the case with everywhere and you can't be early to everything. Tried to beat the traffic or anything. That worked, has it? Yeah. And then we got to see the tars here. Though, we did. Got busy now. Hang on. Go on. <laughs> You're, you're the problem, Victoria. What do you mean I'm the problem? <laughs> so what did you think to that? Um, I mean, they, they are like, kind of think, how on earth did they get there? But it's just like the same thing, like it gets so busy, doesn't it? It's just one of those things that you go and like tick. Yeah. So, and I am glad we've done it. But it's still great to see it. Yes. Because if I think, like, if I'm on my deathbed and we'd have been in this area, I would have thought, what about them chocolate hills? <laughs> So, you know, I'm glad I've seen it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
now getting a bit of lunch at this bistro that Lauren's found. And this is the pepperoni pizza, it looks pretty good to be fair. Although he's just brought the ketchup over and he's covered in hands. He's still on it. So we're at this adventure park now and we're just weighing up whether to do this zip line or not because it does look a little bit scary. <laughs> we're just we're hoping that we can see someone else do it first. Well, it's been here for 10 minutes and no one's done it. So it's just me doing the zip line and I don't blame Lauren for not doing because it does look pretty scary. It's the fact that you lie on your front. So I'm having to walk up to a higher point. Now it was 500 pesos for there and back. Uh, I don't know what that is, about seven quid or something. Push up. Right, no going back now. We're away. Oh my days. more to go just past this little dog watch out oh he's not looking a good way <clears throat> chicken not sure I, I, I've no words that is mental one more to do there's there and back we're away That is the last stop of the day. We're gonna head home and probably have a nap because we're up at six. So let's get home and head out in our local little town. I never did the zip line. The idea of being like that just wasn't something that I felt up for today. Anyway, home time. So we've just got back and I'm glad we have as well. You should see the rain, hang on. Look at that. This is meant to be dry season. It's definitely not. Good morning, everybody. We had a lovely night's sleep until someone was adamantly trying the door at about half past two this morning and wouldn't give up for about 10 minutes. But anyway, apart from that, we're heading off to Alola Beach. Alona Beach. Alona Beach, which is very south of Bohol. Um, but we have just received a weather warning so it's come up like that and it says red rainfall warning in Bohol. So we had originally booked a tuk-tuk to take us from here to the next hotel, but then we went downstairs again and we were like, is there any chance of a car? Because we don't know how bad this warning is, but they didn't seem that bothered, so. We made our way down to Pang Lao Island to our new accommodation. Due to the weather, all we could do was go out for a nice meal at a restaurant called Mist, where we had some good food. All we could do now was hope for better weather tomorrow. Looking good, Lauren. Thank you. Me or the food? Oh. Ah. There's two cats, but another one at the plane. Chicken. 
things out today. Good morning. Today, we're hoping for a better day than yesterday because yesterday was a write off. So, we're starting the day off with something. For goodness <laughs> sake, they've gone everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> And the weather is actually a bit better today, but yeah, we'll explain all the stress about ferries and typhoons and all that in a little while. Basically, due to the typhoons, all ferries back to Seabue were getting cancelled every day. This was not good news for us, who had a flight from Seabue to Boracay in a couple of days' time. So we fairly stressed, but realised it was out of our control. So off we went for a coffee and some lunch before heading to Alona Beach. Happy. We've made it to the beach. Oh, this is the beach. Is that it's today? looking a bit chaotic. Where do you want to go? This is Alona Beach. Usually they'd have like a UV rating of like eight here and everyone would be sunbathing. But today it's a bit choppy, a bit windy, a bit sandy. So we're just going to have a bit of a walk, I think. And maybe a drink. Maybe a drink. But this man is already one beer deep, cool. may I add, so if the camera's a bit skew-wick. But it is a really pretty beach and the sand is so white. So we've walked to one side of the beach, but I think we're going to walk to the other side. There wasn't that much going on, apart from a lot of dogs have clearly just had a load of baby dogs, like puppies, because there's puppies everywhere. But that's not a tourist attraction. No, it's not a tourist attraction, like, it has just happened. After exploring the beach a bit more, we decided to go home as we had a big travel day tomorrow. So that has been our time in Bolholm. We had a great first day. We proper loved that, driving around, looking at all the uh, views. And then the weather has put a bit of a dampener on the rest it of it. It has. But we still made the most of it. And it is a nice place. I would recommend, even along the beach, I can see why you want to go for a few beers and all that lot. But thank you for watching. Yes, thank you so much for watching. It's a bit weird because like we're filming this video now and it's nearly Christmas. I know. So it is the Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's the 20th of December, so everything's getting Christmas in. But by the time it comes out, it's probably gonna be like February. February. <laughs> so, you know, a bit of a reminisce. So I hope you had a nice Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and you're having a I'm good New Year. I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Bye.